I guess there are no words to explain what a power woman she is and an inspiration, not just to women, but to Zionism and Jewish causes and Israel. We're so happy to have Susan Wikers, not Wakers, Wikers. Balaban here with us. You are, wow. You are, wow. I'm like looking at your, your resume slash bio and like what you've done for 30 years is like eye opening. Where did this sense of active, activism and Zionism start for you? Well, I like to always say that it came prenatally. <laughs> in the womb. In the womb. Uh, my parents, my father's family lost many, many people in Germany. My mother has been an activist. She is 103, Kenahara. Wow. And still going strong, a flaming redhead who plays the piano every day with one hand. Wow. And she led a lot of Jewish organizations. And I began in Young Judea when I was 11 years old and the dream of Israel was very real because I was born in 1945. I know women aren't supposed to tell their age. It's okay, but, but it's something it's really to be proud okay. of in your case, yeah. And Israel became a state in 1948. So I basically grew up with the state of Israel. And the wow. thing that I think has kept me as an activist is because I realized that today's generation really doesn't know a world without Israel. And so they don't have the same thirst to make it grow. They're proud, and how can you not be proud coming to Tel Aviv and seeing that it well, is a wow. major... I imagine the differences from when you first started coming here. Now, like, let's talk about your, your connections. I mean, you went, you go as far back to hanging out with Golda Meir. Well, I was at a new leader, I was on a new leadership mission, and Golda invited 12 women to come. She is. Oh, look at her. And, oh, she was something. Wasn't she amazing? Yeah. And she had us at her house, and you know that house, I thought it was gigantic. Of course, when Golda was in the house, it felt gigantic. She went around the room and she asked everybody, what brought you to Israel? And fortunately, she didn't come to me first, because I would have said I came because I'm a Zionist. But the woman ahead of me said, I came because I'm a Zionist. And Golda looked at her and she said, you are not a Zionist. Zionists live in Israel. Wow. You support Israel, and that's wonderful, and you should. And then she talked about Israel bonds, and I became very active with Explain Israel. Explain what this is, because, like, listen, you were the first woman National to chairman. run it. And, I mean, I, I know I got a lot of them for my bat mitzvah. So what was this, tell the process, and what exactly Israel, Israel bonds, bonds was started in 1950. Ben-Gurion convened a group of leaders from outside of Israel and inside of Israel because he realized at the time that there wasn't enough free money in the world to sustain the newly created state of Israel, that people would donate and that tzedakah was important, but there had to be a way for people to invest. And so therefore, he decided that they would float bonds. The United States government, to their credit, even to this day, agreed that a foreign investment could be sold in the United States. There were people who bought those bonds in the very beginning in 1951 who never thought they would get their money back. Israel has never reneged on a repayment or an interest payment in all of these years since 1951. That is really incredible. That's really incredible. And the bond money has been used for the infrastructure of the country to build ports. I mean, look at the eye alone and everything. It's amazing. What an amazing concept. All right, now let's get to Shimon Perez. You're here. You were here for the Yorts at a big event at the Perez, you know, center. Yes. But you have a real long-standing friendship and relationship with him and the whole family. Like, what was the most special thing? about him from on a personal standpoint? Well, I think the most special thing about Shimon from a personal point of view was the man that you saw and the vision and compassion that you saw was the kind of friend he was. When my late husband died, he picked up a phone and said to me, when you are able to overcome some of the grief, come here and be with your other family. Look that, at this picture of you. Look at this. Oh, this is my favorite picture. Oh my and gosh. The look only... at this. You look like you're like a couple. <laughs> well, the thing I love about it is that he's in focus. The photographer gets credit. But it's the only picture I ever brought and asked him to sign. If you see in the lower 
left hand wow. corner. I said, I know I've never brought anything for you to sign, but you must sign this and what picture. A, for what me. a great picture. You know, like people say, you know, and like for me, I didn't grow up learning about this, but to me, just the energy of, of him, there was something so paternal and refreshing compared to, you know, other people in politics. Not only that, Shimon, you know, has a new book that's just come out. I encourage everybody yes. to buy it. It's on Amazon. It's called, hold on. I know. Ah! What is it? I think it's dream that you can't dream. You can't dream small, something like exactly. this. Exactly. Yes. Well, he was a believer. And Tony Blair, when he spoke yesterday at the Yurt site, really echoed it. And Tony Blair has been involved with so many of Shimon's conferences. And Shimon, when he became president, which one would have thought would be like the end of a career. Then he started a conference in Israel that became the Jewish Davos called facing tomorrow because this is a man who always looked toward tomorrow and when people say a visionary i remember being with him uh, the night of the signing of the of the handshake in washington which was difficult for he and rabin it was difficult for all of us mm -hmm. but we thought that we were embarking on something and i still hope to this day that everything that has been started that we will embark on something because the paris center for peace is now turning into the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation. Innovation for Israelis and Palestinians, for us is, all to that's come what together. That's it is, end of the day. And he's up there pulling the strings. We know I this, would right? He's so. more useful up there than down here at this point. Well, questionable. I know you miss him. Questionable. Thank you so much for coming in. Such an honor, such a thrill. You're such a role model, really. It incredible, was incredible such a woman. pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Shabbat you. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Meanwhile, coming up next, sleep or sex? That's the question.